Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's just me today. Martin is actually just sitting right over here. Don't give the game away. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to film a quick video myself just to share 10 things that I've been doing every day um, since we've been at home just to help my mental health during this period. It's obviously a very scary and stressful time for the whole world. And I wanna start off by saying a huge thank you to everyone that is still working and is working really long, hard hours to keep this country going. I'm just so thankful for all of you and everyone that is also um, sticking to the government's um, rules and is helping not to spread the virus by staying at home. Um, but it is such a hard time for everyone and I wanted to share a few simple things that might help your mental health during this time. They're things that I do, um, I'm definitely not a professional so um, take everything with a pinch of salt. If it works for you that's great um, but don't worry if it doesn't. And yeah I hope you're all keeping safe and well and yeah I hope you enjoy this video. So number one on my list is meditation. And this is probably the thing that I've stuck to and I've literally done it every day now for the past two to three weeks and it has helped me so much. Um, I've been doing it before bed but I want to start doing it in the morning so that it sets me up for the day as well. There are so many free meditations around. I know there's loads on YouTube. There's also, I think a lot of people have been doing like live meditations on Instagram. Um, there's also the Headspace app that offers free meditation and also the Calm app. And I've been using the Calm app, um, spelled C-A-L-M, and you can find it on the App Store. I actually paid 30 pounds, I think it was, for the year. And I did this before um, this all started. And I'm so glad that I actually did that um, a couple of months ago and it offers so many great meditations. The first meditation um, kind of series I did was based on Winnie the Pooh and it went through each character and their characteristics. So like Winnie the Pooh, how his characteristics can help you and it's, it was just really cute and it was a really lovely introduction to meditation through something that I love, like Winnie the Pooh. Um, but they have so many different meditations on there um, from everything from stress, anxiety, helping you to sleep, to motivation, everything. It's just so good, so I'd highly recommend that. I have also been listening to their sleep stories and it's really helped me to fall asleep each night and I know at the moment a lot of people are having trouble sleeping because obviously we have so much going on in our heads and listening to a sleep story has really, really helped me. The second thing I've been doing every day, well pretty much every day, is trying to do a little bit of exercise. Um, it is true what they say, exercise does wonders for your mental health. Um, it's always the worst when you're just about to do it, but it's like they say, you never ever regret a workout. You always feel so much better after it. So I've actually been doing loads of at-home workouts. I know um, we can go outside um, at the time that this is filmed. We are allowed outside um, for one form of exercise each day. So I know a lot of people have been going on walks and runs and cycle rides um, and that's really great too. And I've been doing a lot of at-home exercise. So the three exercises that I've been doing, one is one I started recently, which is PE with Joe Wicks. And he does this Monday to Friday live on his YouTube channel at nine o'clock, I think it starts. And it's really good fun. It's actually quite difficult. Um, it's obviously for children and families, um, but I know loads and loads of adults that are doing it. And it has loads of jumping and it's really energetic. And I started it last week and I'm gonna pick it up again this week, Monday to Friday. And it really gets you going in the morning and just sets you up. Um, to have a really good rest of the day. And then I've also been loving Lucy Wyndham Reed's walking exercises. I've been doing this every day with Martin. They're a lot more low impact than Joe Wicks. Um, so if you want something which is a bit softer on your body, I would highly recommend her. She does walking exercises where you walk for a certain amount of time on the spot or around your house, and then you break it up with toning exercises. And she also does seven day challenges, and she just has so much on her YouTube channel that you could literally do a different video each day and it would last 
for a very long time. So I'd highly, highly recommend Lucy Wyndham Reid. I'll try and remember to pop all of these YouTube channels in the description box as well, so you don't have to like jot them down and remember them right now. Oh, and the other exercise that I would highly recommend is Yoga with Adrian. I talk about her channel so much, but she really is my favourite YouTube yoga teacher. Again, she's been doing it for so many years, so there are so many yoga videos on her channel um, that you can literally choose one for however you're feeling, however long you fancy the practice to be, and um, there is literally something for everyone, so I'd highly recommend Yoga with Adrian. I also know that loads of like dance teachers and fitness teachers are doing loads of live streams as well um, and I think that's so much fun because it's really fun to work out knowing that you're working out at the same time as so many people and one of my friends told me about this Instagram account which is called Live Stream Dance Fitness, again I'll put this in the um, description box but every day they post a full timetable of so many dance classes and online fitness classes and it's really great because you can just see them all so you can pick what time you fancy a class and then it also shows you where to go um, to view the class and it's just a really good um, little Instagram account so I'll definitely pop that down if you're interested in live dance classes and fitness classes. Number three is setting time to call friends, call family um, members. There's so many different apps. There's like House Party, WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype. There's probably so many more that I'm not aware of. Um, but luckily we have the best technology to keep in touch with people. And I'm just so grateful for that technology because I've been able to call family members every day and even though it's not the same as seeing them in real life, it definitely helps just to see their face on FaceTime and just to chat and yeah, just keep up to date. I like putting aside set time, so I'll be like, oh, I'll definitely call you tonight or put set dates. I know we've done like a house party and I know a lot of people are setting time to see their friends and it just gives you something to look forward to and also just keeps you socialising and filling that gap of not seeing your friends and family because I think that is one of the hardest parts about lockdown is um, feeling lonely. Um, so it's definitely really great to keep chatting to your friends, keep chatting to your family and there are so many ways to do it now that we really are spoiled with technology. Number four, I've been escaping into a different world each day and whether that's through TV, through film, through loads of Disney Plus, <laughs> through books. There's so many ways that you can just escape reality. And I think that's really important. Um, there's been a lot of talk about being really productive and which is all great and I'm really up for that. But also I think it's such a difficult time that even if you're just spending the day getting through it, I think that is something to celebrate. And I think one of the ways to just get through it is to just escape into a different world. And um, I've been watching loads of Disney Plus. So if you've got Disney Plus, I would highly recommend so many shows on that. And we've actually got a video where we watch all of our top 10 in one day. So I'll put that in the description box. Um, but there's Netflix, there's BBC iPlayer, there's books, um, aud audio books. Um, and yeah, just escape into a different world um, for a little bit of time each day. And I think that's one of the perfect ways um, to distract your mind um, from what's going on, just for a little while. Number five is to start or continue a hobby that you've always wanted to do, but you've just never had the time to really set aside to do it. So Martin's been playing guitar, he's pretty much been playing it every day. And for so many um, years, he's wanted to have that time to play the guitar and uh, now he's able to do it every day. I've been singing so much more. I've been singing pretty much every day as well. And we've also been um, singing and playing guitar together, which has been so nice. Uh, Martin's also been drawing. So yeah, there's just so many hobbies um, that I know people have wanted to do and just never had the time to do. So if there's a hobby that you can do inside, highly recommend setting aside a little bit of time each day and yeah, doing the hobby that you love. 
Number six is to learn a new skill. If there's a skill that you've always wanted to learn, but again, you just haven't had the time to do, now is the perfect time to do that. And I actually started to learn sign language on the ship. Uh, my friend Tom taught a sign language class and I helped him out. So I managed to learn the alphabet and how to say my name and little things like that. But I really wanted to carry on doing it. And at the moment, the website, I'll get it up, um, british-sign.co.uk, again, I'll put this in the description box. They're offering a online course and you can pay anywhere between three pounds to 35 pounds, um, whatever you can afford and you can do this online course and at the end you get a certificate. Um, so it's something which I probably wouldn't have thought of to do, um, but now that I have the time and um, they've been really kind to offer it at a discounted price, I have taken it up and yeah, it's just a little skill that I can learn every day and at the end get a little certificate for. Um, and there's so many other skills that I'm sure people have wanted to learn. There's so many online courses at the moment um, but I'm sure you can find whatever skill that you would like to learn online. So number seven is to write in a gratitude journal every day. I actually have this one, which is called the five minute journal, which I got from Amazon, but you can use any book um, or journal that you have around the house. And this one actually gives you some prompts. Um, so it says, I am grateful for, and then you list three things what would make today great? And then you list those three things. And then a daily affirmation, so something like I am, and then whatever your affirmation is for the day. And you write that in the morning. And then just before you go to bed, um, it gets you to list three amazing things that happened today. And then also one sentence about how I could have made today even better. And you can just do, if you just follow what I just said, you could just write it out in your own journal. And it's just really nice to kind of remind you what you are grateful for. And it kind of retrains your brain to think in a more positive way. And by doing it every day, it starts to just become a habit. And it's something which I love doing now and has really, really helped me. Number eight is I would advise just sticking to listening to one piece of news a day. Now this is really different. Um, it depends how you cope with the news. I know that I can't watch the news for a long amount of time because I will start to get anxious and stressed. Um, that might not be the case and you might be able to, you know, listen to it all day and that's absolutely fine. But if you're like me, I would recommend just watching one piece of news a day. It is important to stay informed, um, but I think sometimes it can be overwhelming if you're constantly checking the news, constantly having it on your TV. And yeah, we normally tend to watch the PM speech, which is normally on at like five, I think every day. And um, we normally just watch that so that we can keep informed, keep updated with what's going on, but not get too overwhelmed. Number nine is to make sure that you still drink a lot of water. I am really bad for this. And especially when I'm at home, I kind of forget to drink water. Um, I find it easier when I'm out and about or if I'm at work and I'm like doing a dance and then I drink water, like I find it easier. But if I'm just around the house, I just forget to drink and I do suffer with headaches if I don't drink enough. So yeah, it's just to remember to make sure you keep hydrated um, because that can really help your brain um, to stay healthy and to stay positive. Um, so yeah, just remember to carry around a little bottle with you and yeah, just to keep taking sips throughout the day. And then number 10 is to try and stick to some kind of loose routine during the weekdays. Um, I'm trying to get up at a similar time each weekday um, and then weekends is just fine, like you can get up, have a big lie in. But I want to try and stick to getting up early on the weekdays and going to bed at a reasonable time, um, which just makes you feel like you have a bit more structure to your day. And then also once um, this is all over and we can return back to our normal lives, um, I think it will be helpful then if you have stuck to some kind of routine. And that's just something that really helps my brain to stay positive um, and to also stay productive. 
So that's it, that's 10 things that I do every day just to help my mental health during this time. Please share in the comments below any tips that you have, any hobbies that you've picked up, um, and yeah, we can all read them and take advice from each other. But yeah, I just wanna say, I hope you're all keeping safe and well, and thanks so much for watching the channel every day. That is definitely a hobby. <laughs> Um, that we have enjoyed doing every day and um, creating vlogs um, it's definitely something that has helped me to stay productive and to stay positive each day so thank you so much because you are a part of that and yeah we'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>